Dad and Nina, I'm home. It's a new way that kids text. All right. Hello. 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 I have a lot of cleaning to do, and I also had coffee today, so I'm coming down from the damn caffeine rush that I had earlier. So if I look a little sleepy, you know why. I went to bed like three times yesterday because I woke up, I fell asleep and woke up many times, and um, then I finally went to bed at like three, and I woke up at like 6.40. So, here I am. I got a question, not really a question, yeah it was a question, no it wasn't a question, it was a comment, but it was kind of like, yo I don't know what to do now, so let me read it to you. I haven't seen this girl in about a year and I still can't get her off my mind. All I know is her name and what, where she works. I have since moved to another town though and I'm pretty sure she's not gay. I don't know what to do, this crush is crushing me. I just want to comment on the fact that you said this crush is crushing me and I think it's really uh, cool. I like that phrase, although it's not cool what's going on with you, but I really thought it was cool. This crush is crushing me. Like, it's, well, I wish I had a formula for you, but honestly, I think it's just the timing is everything. Timing is everything, and you're really not going to get over that person until you find somebody that is meant to get you over that person, is what I think I have to say and give you my advice about. So I think that's honestly what it is, is that you really got to just wait until the right person comes along to help you get over that person. In the meantime, I think that you should just keep staying busy. Keep your mind off of that and sooner or later it's going to happen. It's not going to just stay there all the time. I know it's really hard and it's easier said than done, but I know that you can do it if that person's not gay. The person is not gay, you can't really change them. I mean, there are some instances which you can, but don't let that get to you because if you can't, then you can't. I guess it's good in a way that you've already moved far away. You've moved cities for a reason. You didn't really know much of this person for a reason, but I think that if you just hang on, you will all find somebody along the way that is really meant to help you get over this person, and you'll understand everything. That was quick. What else can I say about this subject? The simplest answer is that somebody else is going to come along and they're going to help you uh, get over this person. I mean, there's no point in sugarcoating in any of it. I just think that it really has to come within you and I feel like the easiest thing or the, the right way is just going to be time and it's going to help you get over that person when you meet somebody new. It's just like people come and go and if you notice a lot of people that used to be in your life and aren't any anymore, how did you end up forgetting them? Just you met new people, not on purpose, but it just happened. It's the way of life. So I think that's what you have going on for you and uh, I hope that helped you. I know it was really short and I know I felt I hope it wasn't too dry for you but you just have to remember that everything is gonna get better and even if it feels like it's not it will trust me. If you guys have any similar stories or something or any tips or anything like that or want to say anything about this to this person go ahead and leave it down below because my video was very short but I did want to answer the question. Now I knocked one of the questions off of my list and on to the next one and the next video. So I hope you guys stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Also one more thing if you guys are planning to write to me I've been having a lot of problems writing back and then all of the like some of the addresses are not correct and so I get it sent back. So I would like to make some changes to that. If you want me to write to you, please send me an envelope with your address correctly written on yours so that all I have to do is write my return address and send it, or not even a return address, whatever. But it's easier if you guys send me the envelope with your already written stuff on there because sometimes I can't read whether there's like a 9 or a 4 or an L or a B. So it would make my life so much easier if you could just please do that for me if you want me to write back. Yeah, I still have a lot to write back to, and I have been, but like I said, I've been running into a lot of problems where you guys are not writing down, or I'm not understanding the address, but there's a bunch of you that I've got returned. Thank you guys for always sending me mail, and if you want to write to me, you can. My address in my PO box is down below. I take a while, I'm not going to lie to you, I do take a while because I do have other things to do, and I tend to just always procrastinate, but I will get to it eventually. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. Or night, and um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Also, thank you guys for commenting on my dad's picture on Instagram. Just for everything and everybody's support, I thank you for like commenting always, always on my pictures. I will talk to you guys next time. I'm gonna go. So hopefully, I helped with this video. If not, hopefully, maybe it'll help somebody else. And yeah, okay. Well, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, Bella. Say bye. Bye. Don't mind Bella. She was asleep in the background. She had a rough night. She doesn't do anything but sleep. That's what I wish I could do. Sleep!